Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here and welcome to another Quadro Quickie where today we're going to get out of here. Go away. Being interrupted by my squad. We're going to be talking about dispersion today, guys. Dispersion is a hidden mechanic in Enlisted um, that I'm sure a lot of you guys have felt, but you might not know about. So if you ever fired a gun, right, you have your M1 Garand and you put it right on somebody and you click and like in your head, you're like, I got him. I know I got him. The muscle memory got him. But then you end up missing. And you're like, what happened there? Did my bullet just disappear? Sometimes it feels like you have ghost bullets. Well, that's not really what's happening. What's happening is dispersion. Uh, because in Enlisted, every gun in the game has a dispersion value associated with it, a dispersion uh, modifier. And this is effectively making your gun not shoot straight, right? The higher your dispersion, uh, the harder it is for your gun to shoot straight. And it's much more noticeable at long ranges than it is at short ranges, obviously, because the, the further you shoot, the more... Um, that modifier is affecting the trajectory of the bullet. Um, if you want to see all the different dispersion values for all the different guns, I am going to link a document down in the description below um, from one of the data miners who's done a great job at, at compiling a ton of information. Um, and so you can check those all out. But just to kind of show you guys what this looks like, I have the VG15, which has pretty high dispersion. So if I just take these shots here, right, you're going to see that not all these shots, you can actually see already that these shots are just wild. Right, they are going all over the place. Um, these things, you can already see there's one that's like all the way down there, right? And recoil accounts for a little bit of it. Um, and you can see, right, a couple, a lot of the shots weren't too bad, right? These ones are all generally, but like, what's going on with these ones? What's going on with these ones, right? What is going on with that? And that's dispersion coming into play. Um, that is just when your bullets go off into the ether and completely whiff. Uh, and it gets worse and worse if you quick turn. So if I quick turn, and then I take some shots, right? One of those shots was recoil. Um, but you can see that these shots are also really wild. So if I just quick turn, <laughs> my muscle memory is so messed up. Uh, you can see, obviously, this was the low shot. But these ones, again, dispersion kind of coming into play here. These shots are just kind of whiffing, kind of going flying off into the middle of nowhere. Um, and a lot of that is also my own aim. It feels weird to shoot a target that's not a person. But... Um, that is essentially how dispersion works. Now, if we pull out a sniper, you're going to see that we're going to have basically zero dispersion, okay? Because snipers have very, very little dispersion. So if I just take a you know, take a shot at this guy's head, you see that went basically exactly where we were aiming, right? Very, very little dispersion on snipers and bolt actions as well, right? Bolt actions have very little dispersion. Um, you can see, again, headshots, easy. LMGs have very high dispersion, right? Um, bullets just kind of go all over the place whenever you're using something like a, um, an LMG. And some LMGs are even worse. And God forbid you're moving while using an LMG. That's going to make it even worse. But what does this mean for enlisted? Why do I dislike dispersion? Why do a lot of the, the top players dislike uh, dispersion? Enlightened Enlisted, I know, really hates dispersion. A lot of players out there um, who play enlisted a lot really, really dislike dispersion. And the reason for it is that dispersion is very low skill right? It, it lowers the skill ceiling of enlisted um, because if I have a gun and the enemy has a gun, right? Same guns. And I shoot at them, then there is a random die roll that could mean that I just miss, right? Even though I fired first, even though I played better, right? I end up missing through no fault of my own just because the die was rolled and I rolled a one instead of a, a 20, right? Instead of, you know, and I, and I crit failed. And so my bullet goes flying off into the ether, right? And this is really bad from a gameplay perspective, right? It's not, it's not fun to miss. It feels weird to miss um, when you're just shooting randomly, right? When you're shooting out there and, and it just misses for no reason, that feels really bad and it's confusing. Um, but it also doesn't really work from a, a realistic standpoint. I mean, I'm not a gun person, but I'm pretty sure that guns shoot straight, right? Like obviously if you're shooting at a really long distance, then there's a lot of things that affects it. Um, but from what I understand, a gun doesn't just like fly off, like a bullet doesn't fly off into the ether at like a hundred meters, which is where the majority of engagements happen in enlisted. Um, and I, I don't know, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not a gun person. You guys know that. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong there, but it feels like that, right? It feels like they should be shooting a lot straighter, uh, than they do in the game. And yeah, that's, that's kind of the end of the day. That's kind of how I feel about it. That is, um, that is the idea of dispersion and my thoughts on dispersion. Um, and 
The other major thing about it is that it's not really explicitly shown in Enlisted. I mean, there's some dispersion uh, perks and things like that, but we're not really given any values for our weapons and things that I think uh, would definitely help out a lot, even if it's just a generic bar that says accuracy or precision or whatever it is. That would be uh, that would be nice to have. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, as always, like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you out. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on dispersion down below. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Uh, I'd love to have a discussion going regarding that. But that's it for me, guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.